Guys, today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Life can be challenging and at times lonely, but what if it doesn't have to be? At BetterHelp, their accessible therapists are there around the clock to help you through life's road bumps and daily challenges. BetterHelp's mission is making professional therapy accessible, affordable, and convenient, so anyone who struggles with life's challenges can get help anytime and anywhere. BetterHelp will match you to an available therapist who fits your objectives, preferences, and the types of issues you're dealing with, which is honestly reassuring knowing that you're going to be talking to someone that is fit for you. Different therapists have different approaches and areas of focus, so it's important to BetterHelp to find the right person who can achieve the best results for you. This is also why you can switch therapists at any time for any reason so that you get that perfect fit. So to get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp, go to www.betterhelp.com GWGT. That's www.betterhelp.com GWGT to get started. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Girl, We Gotta Talk. I'm your host, Elena Jakes, and I'm here with special guest, Rachel Blake. Hey. Everyone's favorite guest, really. Everyone loves Rachel. I know. Um, You know, (laughs) Rachel's been on a handful of episodes already, um, and she loved the episode with Emily Elizabeth. So if you go a couple episodes back, um, I had Emily Elizabeth on the podcast, and She's an entrepreneur, and one of the things that she's created was a card game called What Fulfills You, and it's the title of her podcast. And I don't know, it stuck out to Rachel and I, and we really wanted to, I don't know, play the game. Rachel literally bought the game, like, that day, and we're going to play it tonight. So we are sitting on the couch, vibing out. We have our manly-smelling Bath and Body Works candle, (laughs) and we're going to play this little game. So basically, it's just, like, really... um, intimate, like, meaningful conversation prompts. So, like, each card has a question that we're just going to draw randomly and then ask the other person. I guess, like, we'll ask – are we asking it to the other person or are we just going to both answer it? I don't know how we should play this. We can ask each other. Okay. And maybe give our little two cents, too. Okay. So, the description um, of the game is basically that these questions are intended to stimulate your mind outside of the usual day-to-day thoughts and conversations, but most importantly, to create a deeper understanding within yourself about your true life desires and personal growth journey. So, we thought it'd be fun to just, like, go through a couple of these and, like, actually think about thoughts. Like, I feel like, and to, like, sit in our feelings and see what, like, really comes to mind and just, like, talk about things. So, yeah, um, we hope you guys enjoy this episode and maybe you guys could get this game yourselves, play it with some people, um, or this will be a complete train wreck and you won't want to buy it, but <laughs> cheers. Um, okay, so do you want me to draw a question for you first? I'm so nervous. I know. And for the record, we have not looked at any of these Mm-mm. yet, so this is completely random, First draw question. Yeah, let's dive right in. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm so scared. Did you shuffle these? Like, are they to be shuffled? I. Okay, who's that? Okay, Rachel. Um, this is a perfect I'm question nervous. for you. If time is the most valuable asset, why are you wasting your time doing something you don't actually enjoy? The other, like, there's a second question on here. Why are you wasting it with the wrong people? Um... But I feel like you should just answer the first question. Wow. Because I think you're surrounded by great people, including myself. (laughs) I do like the people that I surround myself with. I have a great group around me. Um, Wow. Can you you reread that? A reread? Yeah. (laughs) Question Can you put it in a sentence? Yeah. If this is the most valuable asset, if, sorry, if time is the most valuable asset, why are you wasting your time doing something you don't actually enjoy? So for, okay, I guess to like prompt that even more, like when you heard that question, what's the first thing that you think of? Like first thing automatically was work. Yeah. Because that's what I thought when I read it. My close circle around me right now knows that my work is very draining and, um, not, I'm not where I want to be right now. And that's very frustrating to me. 
I feel like, too, you and I are similar in the same way as we have set out, like, goals and plans for ourselves. And so, in a moment of, like, I don't like what I'm doing for work, I don't like where I'm at, mm-hmm. it stresses us out even more because we've for already... Sure. St- We've already told ourselves we're going to be X, Y, and Z. And if we're not... time marker, yeah. Right. And so, like, in your head, you're telling yourself you're not there. You're freaking out more. Right. Right. So, I think I enjoy what I'm doing. I definitely enjoy my career. Um, But I think that I wouldn't... I wouldn't say I'm wasting time doing something I I don't actually enjoy because there are going to be a lot of hard times. And you have to get through those hard times or... The times where you're like, maybe not putting in as, you know, everything you can be doing for your job. Like, for example, like I'm an event planner, so a lot of my stuff is virtual right now. And that's very stressful for me in terms of like how I've planned my career out because like I'm not planning in-person events right now. And so I'm not enjoying my time with the virtual events but it's I'm not wasting my time because I'm still gaining all the experience and knowledge and it's going to help like push me through into the next steps of my career but it definitely feels like I'm wasting time right now but I have to remind myself that like no I'm still doing my job like I'm still doing what I you know enjoy it's just looks different right now yeah and then once you know maybe this summer or when things, you know, open up a little bit more and we can have some in-person events, then I think I'll feel like my time's not being wasted. Because when I graduated college and I started my job, I mean, I was living the life. Like, yeah. planning all these events, going to the events, and that was definitely not a waste of time. So, I think it's just a different, um, we're just in a different time right now. Yeah. I also feel like, too... We have so much time. I don't know. I go back and forth on this too, but like we have so much time. We're way younger than we like tell ourselves we are. Like we're in our 20s. Like we still have so much time to like build our career. But then the other half of me is like, no bitch, you don't. Like you need to like, this is a time where you build it. Right. So like I do the same thing where I'm like, am I in the right? We talked about this yesterday actually. Because I was like, are we in the right? Are we doing the right thing right now? What are we supposed to be doing? Like what more could I be doing right now? Yeah. And it's like, whoa, just, I mean... Right now is, like, not the time to chill out, but in my head I have to be like, whoa, chill out. Like, you're still doing a lot. Mm -hmm. But I still feel like I'm, like, wasting some of these days away when I'm, like, I'm still, like, planning five events right now. But I'm, like, ah, I'm not, like, in person doing it all, so I feel like I have all this, like time and I'm like am I am I doing what I like like is this right yeah I feel like we just have to give ourselves grace because we're we are we're like we both have great jobs like if like anytime I'm like Rachel does x y and z people are like what like that's so cool (laughs) and then like people are like what your job gives you all this stuff (laughs) (laughs) like yeah I'm like yeah but like, you sit in your room and you think, like, what am I even doing with my life? We just have to give ourselves grace. Like, we're both, we're fine. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't think we're really wasting time. Wasting time would be sitting on the couch, not doing anything with our life, and not even right. having, like, any ambition to do any. Like, right. we have almost too much ambition. Yeah. So that's why we tell ourselves we're not doing enough, and we are right. wasting Cause, time. But I don't think we are. No, I don't think we're wasting time. It's just because our, our, our moves haven't been made yet. Yeah, but, we're on the so up we're and just up. Waiting for that to we happen. will let you know. I'm so scared. Don't pick up All that right. card. I'm so scared. <laughs> Elena. Okay, what holds you back from doing the things you really want to do? Hmm. What holds me back from doing the things I really want to do? What do I really want to do? Okay, I feel like that's decent. I feel like it's a good question. Fine. <laughs> I... Take you as a case by case basis. Like, what was the first thing that popped into your mind? work work I <laughs> don't be me <laughs> I know it's so annoying um we're gonna answer like similar questions I feel like what holds okay what holds me back from doing the things I really want to do first of all I don't feel like I hold myself back I don't think that I let myself get held back I almost do things without thinking enough before I do them mm-hmm. like I have like 16 side gigs like why right. do I do that right like I do I feel like I jump the gun yeah and then I'm in the situation where I'm like oh I need yeah. to like fall through with this which isn't a bad thing like I do and I have been but then 
with like other endeavors, which I've talked to you about, like changing my entire like career field, mm-hmm. like I'm nervous of failure because right. I've said it. And that's the other thing too. I don't always talk about what I want to do mm-hmm. because then I'm afraid of like failing. Like right. I told all these people that I'm going to do this and then I don't do it. Right. So I've told all these people that I want to do this job and what if I fail? What if I'm well, not good enough? And I, I think you're great. Thank you. And would be great <laughs> at this job. I told, um, I was telling, I was talking to my boy, I was talking to my boyfriend. Oh my God, I just did a thing. You just Well, but I'm on a podcast. It. Okay, but I was talking to my boyfriend, TJ, <laughs> and I, lol, we were making fun of Sheena on Vanderpump Rules, if anyone watches that, <laughs> because she said, um, my boyfriend has this app, and she's, and she's talking like, to all, all of, of her, her friends. friends. It's like, just say Brock. Yeah. Just say Brock. Just Everyone say. knows him. Right. Just saw him yesterday. Yeah. Um, so my boyfriend, TJ, um, or TJ, he and I were talking about, like, the potential of me, like, changing career fields, and I've been really excited about doing that. Um, but I was like, I don't know, this career field gets very glamorized, and I don't want to yes. go in naive at all. Like, I want to understand everything fully. Right. And I feel like there's part of me that, like, there's a small part of me that's like, you're not going to be good at it. You just think it's like X, Y, and Z. And I don't know. There's just, I feel like there's like a little fear in that. But also like that's the fun of like the chat. Like the, that's the challenge of yeah. it. So I don't know. I don't feel like anything really holds me back. But like there is that one little thing with this that I feel like. I think. Is. Yeah. I think. I, I'm not going to fully answer this question. But for some things like for me not knowing exactly what something is or like what something holds yeah holds me back like for your potential career change like there's so much knowledge knowledge that goes into that and just not maybe not knowing everything is something that would like hold me back because I'd be like oh but I what if I don't know the answer to like this question yeah. or what if I don't know this like oh um, I can I still am I still gonna be good at it yeah so which I mean I guess is the well, that's but I guess that's, that's right. the whole thing about making and getting a new job. Like, right. you learn your way through the whole time. And you know what? I saw a TikTok. <laughs> I saw, <laughs> guys, I saw a TikTok yesterday. It was very informative. But it was. She was like, for anyone that's in the, the corporate world, if you ever feel like you don't know what you're doing, just so you know, no one does. Like, right. your manager, there's things where she's just like, or he is just like going through the motions. Like, yeah. Hoping to God no one calls them out on, like, anything. Because sometimes everyone doesn't know everything. Right. So, I feel like that's with any job. And you just learn your way through it. And you, like, you live and you learn and you make mistakes and then you, like, get through it. So, I just need to, like, knock that little voice in my head down because that that could go with anything. That could scare me from anything in my life. For sure. Ooh. Okay. What do you value most? Comfort or personal growth? I feel like I know how you're going to answer this. Oh. I want to know if you're right or not. Yeah, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> I think... I think I value personal growth more. I was correct, yeah. You were correct. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that... I mean, it's good to be comfortable. It's personal growth. I mean, you're just always working to be better. That I value that more. Like, if you're constantly working on yourself or you're constantly working toward, like your goals, whether it's, like, with work, personal life, like, things you want to accomplish, that's, I mean, that's something to really hold tight to, like, yourself. And that could be, like, your comfort of, yeah, uh, you know, of the what way, you value. Not to cut you off, but the way that I would answer that is I want to work on my personal growth so that I have comfort in life. 100%. Like, financially mentally everything like I want to feel comfortable in my like in myself yeah so I feel like you would work on your growth to reach comfort absolutely the funny thing is is like we're very similar minded so similar so like so we know how these questions are yeah like I'm answering it for you and you like you know what I mean yeah you read that question you were like yeah she's easily gonna Rachel's picking personal personal growth growth. (laughs) cheers duh okay um this question says, what is your main goal for this year and why? Ooh. This is very fitting as it is 
the 5th of January. Yeah, we are recording this on the 5th. And I actually just had an episode come out today where I talked about a lot of my goals. But I think my main goal is... So last year, I felt like my goal was to, like, travel, see people, be intentional with my time. Mm -hmm. And this year, I feel like I want to grow my businesses, get myself set up in, like, a good place, and then just, like, be as happy as I possibly can. Like, do literally anything in my power to, like, make myself the happiest version of myself. So kind of going back to, like, setting yourself up for comfort, I just want to, like, grow in my businesses feel really confident in, like, my career, and if I do choose to, like, make the jump, be really confident in that decision, and, like, Mm -hmm. hopefully that that, like, brings me happiness. I also just want to be, like, certain about my life. Yeah. Like, I feel like right now I'm just kind of, like, floating and, like, getting by, and I'm not unhappy, but I'm not, like, oh my god, I'm thriving, like, I feel really good about everything in my life, and, like, there's literally, like, I'm very lucky there's nothing, like, bad going on in my life. Right. But, I don't know, I just want to feel, like, really secure financially and, like, happy with, like, everyone in my life and happy with, like, everything I'm doing. Yeah. I feel like that's super vague, though. But I think that's super valid and especially coming off of, I mean, we're going into, like, the third year of the pandemic. Like, everything, like, our lives have changed so much in just, like, our day-to-day. Like, huge halt when this first started and then it was, like no, now you have to adapt and live a certain way. And I think, like, there's no work-life balance anymore. And Mm -hmm. for me, like, yeah, the happiness thing, it's like, I'm not, like, unhappy with my life, but I'm just, like, I need more, not even, like, more structure, because, I mean, I have my schedules, but, like, I think finding that balance to, like, bring us back to, you know, where we were. I feel like I need more, like, oomph. Yeah, like, I, mean, I need we, something that's, like... We're home working all day. Like, yeah. I need to be, like, getting out. I mean, I guess sometimes I go into the office. But, like... We are. We did just book a trip today. But we did <laughs> book a trip today. We're getting out We're there. traveling. <laughs> <laughs> we are having fun. Yeah. I don't know. I just want to, like... This is, this is going to be the dumbest thing I've ever said. But I just want to live my... <laughs> just want to live my best life. Because I feel like we're young, like, this is the time I mean, this to, is a like, big year for us also. Like I know, I know. Friends, Relax, pump the brakes. <laughs> all of our friends, like, we're all turning 25, like, I just want to have fun this year. I know. And like, I love that we also have the flexibility, like, working majority, like, from home. I know. To, you know, take our laptops with us and, like, go work from somewhere else for a week or, like, whatever we wanted to do. Like, we do have the power for that. Maybe not quite all the funds if anybody wants to like help us out but sure <laughs> go fund me and Rachel Blake um but no I do want this year to be like it's yeah it sounds so cliche but just like exciting yeah like I don't get me wrong I love our area and our friends and I love all the things that we do but the best times and the best memories that I have and the best videos are the trips <laughs> that we take. Right. Like, every right. trip we do, like, a little... I just, like, we all take, we like, footage it. it. Yeah, footage of it. Yeah. And then I put it together in, like, a cute video. And I'm like, I love watching those. I yeah. love going back and being like, that was such a fun trip. We did this, this, yeah. and this. It's when you leave, like, your comfort zone and you do new things. Go and, to a like, new city. And then we're also, like, yeah. trying new things together and going on new adventures together. And it's just... I mean, it's different than, you know, going to brunch downtown. Yeah. You know? It's like, those memories are so fun, too. But these memories are, like, from, you know, your first plane ride. Like, oh my God. <laughs> to, you know. Ew, that's so weird. I that know. Was, guys, spring break yeah. of 2019. Senior year? 2019. But, yeah, no, making those memories and going on those adventures, definitely. Yeah. I want to pack this year full of those. Yeah. I just want to be saying yes to a lot of things, but saying yes to a lot of things for myself. That you actually want to do. That I want to do for me. And Not then feel pressure to say yes. Yeah. And yeah, just like grow in my businesses. Yeah, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God. What are you most grateful for in this current moment? Oh, wow. So this card, that's really going to make me, make me think. It's going to make me um, realize that my life is not actually <laughs> awful. <laughs> Even though work might say it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I just, I love my job. Corporate America. Corporate America. Um, 
What am I most grateful for in this moment? Honestly, my circle. Like, my friends and family. The people who I talk to, like, every day and surround myself with. I really could not do anything without them. So, I mean, that is probably as, like, cliche as it gets. Yeah. But I think it really has grounded me and um, recently, and I think that, um, I mean, I go to all of my friends and family for advice and um, to talk out situations and because I, you know, thinking about a career change, but also like thinking about taking a wild risk in, in potentially like a new position. Um, and so talking it out and getting everybody's opinions, like I think that's, I mean, I'm just, I'm very lucky to have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was, like, talking about this in the episode that came out today. Like, I'm just very, like, grateful for the people in my life. Yeah. Like, bottom line. Like, I couldn't have better people in my life. Yeah. I feel like it's, it makes such a difference. Like, if you're going through something, like, just, like, day to day, like, your happiness is just, like so much higher when you have people in your corner and and you know that like if anything happens people are gonna have your back and like be there for you yeah and like support you and yeah just good people I love good people yeah I'm gonna do like a a funny thing give it to me that I'm like grateful for why it's this water bottle no hey I'm doing a dry January you guys so yeah we're actually not we're not drinking wine while we're doing this sorry Sorry. (laughs) these are called wine nights but I have kombucha and we have water here tonight (laughs) but Um, this water bottle makes me drink so much water and for that I'm grateful (laughs) we are we have matching water bottles yeah they're they're like I forget they're from how many ounces it's like 60 60 I thought it was 60 I don't know they're big boys. They're not the ones that say, They're like, not the giant... Good morning, of, 7 no. a.m. Like, no. No, come on, Trashy. You guys. Come on. Come on. We could do better than We're that. chic. We're, they are chic. <laughs> no, honestly, they're chic. No, they're really cute. Yours is, like, a white, gray marble print. For sure it is. Mine's just straight black because I'm yeah. boring, but it's... They're chic. They're chic. And you drink a lot of water. And you, you know what? Lo- I always refill it. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Do you even know what this means? Well, we, you know, you guys have showed me. Fair enough. <laughs> Drink, oh wait, have their, what is it? Emotional support water bottle? And that's mine. <laughs> and here they are. And we line up at the fridge to refill them. Mm-hmm. We call it the watering hole because yeah. every night we line up, we have four girls in this house and we all line, line up, up before bed and fill it up. Fill her up. Fill her up. I mean, we drink like, I would say I drink like five of these a day. Yeah. Ooh, five? That's four. a good day. I would say like three to four, yeah. Which is still really good. I love it. So for that, <laughs> grateful. <I'm> grateful. <laughs> for that, grateful. <laughs> and for you. Okay. Wow. Mm. This one might get a little bit deep. Mm. When was the last time you felt most yourself? Pause. Part two. What can you do today to recreate that feeling and energy? But mm. back to number one. When was the last time you felt most yourself? That's a good question. Yeah. So I think like with this card, back to the personal growth thing, it doesn't have to be like we're always growing and changing. But like, I think a moment where you feel like yourself for me, it's like when I'm out there planning events, like that is when I feel most like myself. So with my family, my dad's side of the family, Christmas Eve for us is massive. We always like gather, you know, pre-COVID, everybody would gather at my um aunt's house and we would do a cousin gifts ex- gift exchange and all these kind of things so like that also makes me feel like myself I don't think it's like you know as I'm growing I mean every day I guess you know we have off days if something's up but like I think those are there are things that I'm doing that I like to do that bring me joy and that's when I feel like myself yeah that's kind of how I was thinking of it too like I wasn't thinking of spe- uh, one specific moment right. that I want to recreate. I was thinking of scenarios where I feel like, oh my, like at home. Like at home. Like Peace. I feel like me. Yeah. And I feel like there's a couple of scenarios that like come to mind, which was like, one I was going to say here, like being at this house, like with the four of us, like sitting on the couch, like shooting the shit, talking and hanging out and just like doing whatever here. Like that's when I feel like me when I'm with like, my boyfriend and I, like, have a breakdown. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, I get upset. Like, I am being... My, I'm showing him everything, basically, which is, like, super vulnerable. And, like, we're way past that. But, like, 
I'm feeling obviously myself in that situation. And then there's been like, obviously when I'm with family and like you and I both have like very big Christmas Eves, like right. that situations like that, where I like, I know I'm going to be surrounded by like the people that I love and like I'm around my family. Like that's a moment where I feel myself. So I think it just goes back to like the other question too. Cause it's just when I'm surrounded by like friends and family and people that like I trust and I feel yeah. good about because there have been Absolutely. a lot of situations and like actually recently like I've been around like people and I don't feel like I can say ev- like I can't talk I can't be myself 100% right. and I feel really like reserved which like hasn't really happened to me in a long time and I feel like that's it right there like I feel good when I'm with you know my close people but right Okay, this is a good one. Who do you want to be a year from now, and how can you start working towards that person? Okay, I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. I'm loving the honesty. <laughs> I just want to explain <laughs> because every single card that you've, like, pulled up and read to me, immediately my mind goes to work, and I just, like... I don't like that your brain works like that. Exactly. Exactly. But that's, like, it's it's funny because that's what, like, everybody says. Like, my personality is my work, and I, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's funny that automatically I went to, like, who, instead of who do you want to be in a year, I was like, where do you want to be in a year? Like, that's, I'm like, that's what I'm just thinking about. Who I want to be in a year. That's a deeper question. That's a deeper question. Um, but I think it kind of, I mean, I can... I get, who am I kidding? I can tie anything to work. I, oof. I, I'm going to work think on that. Think about, like, yeah. Think about, like, I don't know what I was going to say. Like, your personality. Think about, like, what you do for others, what others do for you. Things that you could do to, like, improve yourself. Things to, like, not do as, you know, things like that, maybe. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep doing a whole lot for others because that does bring me joy it makes me happy yeah um who do I want to be a year from now I mean I hope I'm a better person than I am sitting here today you know continuing my personal growth but why did you say you hate yourself though (laughs) what does that stem from because I immediately thought... Of work? Of work. Oh, okay. A hundred percent. Like, when I when you read that question to me, I was like, oh, who do I want to be a year from now? Well, I have all these goals I want to meet in my, like, career, and so a year from now, I want to be taking on more. I want to be, obviously, like, I want to have a different title. Like, I... Yeah. Like, I mean, I'll continue to, like, you know, promotions and stuff like that, but, like, I want... That's, like, how I see myself, and I, that, I want to change that mindset okay. instead of... Yeah. Looking at it of, like, who am I going to be, like, at work and then my personal life? I think I want to, like, I need to look at it is in who am I going to be, like, in my personal life and then work. Because right now, and it's not a bad thing, but, like, work takes up, like, a lot of my personality. Overpowers, like, it over- who you are, maybe. Yeah. Somebody's like, who are you? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm an event planner. Like, no, I'm Rachel. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> Can life be meaningful without friends or a community of people that support you? No. I 100% agree. Um, I think that you can be the most successful person on the planet. You could be Jeff Bezos. You could be whoever. None of that success would mean anything if you didn't have anyone celebrating you supporting you anyone to share it with like what would the success even mean it doesn't mean anything that's like also saying like because the question I wonder if this is in here but like does money equal happiness Mm -hmm. like yeah everyone wants a shit ton of money like everyone wants to be like well off and like right can buy whatever they want. Content and, like, be able to buy, like, whatever they want. But at the end of the day, like, if you have all the money and you don't have anyone around you to, like, share it with or, like, spend it on, what are you... You're just in a big old house by yourself. Right. So, I feel like 
no, nothing's meaningful if you don't have, like, people around you to, like, support you and love you and go through those, like, celebrations with you, you know? Right. No, I agree. Basically, people are just great. <laughs> um, ooh, okay. If you had six months to live, what would you do differently? I would quit my job. Hell yeah, you would. <laughs> Work-related <Bye-bye>. again. <laughs> Work-related again. God damn it. <laughs> we have got to... Okay, 2022, we are moving away from that. Yeah. That okay, is... Okay, so, like, okay, restart it. Okay. No, If you had real. six months to live, what would you do differently? No, for sure. Say you I have mean, a great job. Say you have, like... Okay, if I had a great job... What else would you do? What I would think do I would different? stop waiting. I, I tend to wait until I think the time is right to do something and I think like obviously a lot of people do I could be like oh I just want like a little bit more money to spend on this trip or what like no like just do it I mean obviously some things you know you got to make sure you have the funds for but if I had six months to live I also don't think wow okay now that I start to think about things Mm, is this game working? <laughs> yeah. Like, for me, I was, I was thinking, like, I'm going to go do travel, like, do whatever I could do if, like, money Allowed wasn't. It. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, For sure, I'd, I would definitely have to go over to Italy and eat some pasta. That Absolutely. I mean, that has to happen. <laughs> um, I would spend all my time, though, with my friends and family. Yeah. And do what I wanted to do. Like, be unapo- unapologetically selfish about it. Mm-hmm. I'll be mean. But I'd be like, no, okay, I want to do that. Let's go to it. That's what I want you to be this year. Yeah. You know? That's so hard. I know. It is hard. That's what I want to do this year. Yeah. Like, that's your answer right now of, like, if you had six months to live, if you had the rest of this year, whatever... To do whatever you wanted to do. Be unapologetically me. Yeah. How would your friend describe you to a stranger in the first 30 seconds? I don't know. Why don't you describe me? Yeah. I okay, because that's... that's... How am I supposed to do that? Ew, I don't like... I don't like that. <laughs> no, you how would it. you describe yourself? <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Please. Um, in the first 30 seconds. So... Where does this conversation even start? Okay, How so am like, I even I'm talking f- about you? Okay, why don't we... Okay. Wow. Role play? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were into it. Um, okay, wait. Let me think. Um, you are... You guys realize... No, no, no. No. I don't Somebody's know. asked me, oh, tell me about your friend Elena. Okay, yeah. fine. <laughs> oh, that's that a great prompt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was easy. Well, am I about to cry? I know. Are you going to cry? Maybe. Wow. Um, I would say in the first, well, first 30 seconds. I mean, there's so much to cover, but I would say she's one of the most genuine people I have ever met in my life. Um, A real ride or die. She is funny. She is extremely talented. Um, I'm sad. (laughs) I can't even get through this. Ah. And I think that I selfishly... Like, you know, I wish people had the pleasure of, like, knowing her, but selfishly, I'm glad that they don't because she is my best friend. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, that's so sweet. I love you. (laughs) No, but seriously, you're amazing. Oh my god. I love you. I love you. Wow. (laughs) I'm not okay. I don't know. If you could do anything for a living, what would it be? Like, yeah. Do we want it? No. (laughs) I'm so overworked. I hate myself. Take work out of Rachel's personality 2022. (laughs) 1,000%. Are you, um, we should have like a rule. Like anytime you mention it, you have to like take a shot or like you. Oh my God, I would be dead. Yes. But then you would want to stop talking about it. For sure. And it would ruin dry January. So then it would be a real incentive. I can't can't ruin dry January. No. Okay. Next question. Are you letting the opinions of others affect your own decisions? Yeah. Ooh, wow. That was so fast. That was fast. Why do you say that? I hate disappointing people. I don't like to. Yeah. Like, 
be an inconvenience. And so I like to think of like the group's feelings or like how, like whatever it is. I, I don't just think about like myself first. I'll think about the closest people to me and like if it's going to affect them, how it's going to affect them, what, like, what are they going to think? And then I'll make a decision. And for some things, like, definitely don't just make a split decision and be like, yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. Or no, I'm not going to do this. And like, you know, some things you do have to take other people's feelings into consideration. But yeah, I think I think too much about what people think. I also think Part of that comes with, I don't ever like, I mean, nobody does, but I don't want to be like a failure. So yeah. I'll think about like, oh my God, what if I do something and I don't succeed at it? What is this person going to think? What are they going to think about Or me? what are they going to say? And then I'm like, ah, should I do it? Okay, maybe not because it's safe not to do it because I'm content right now. But I don't like that anymore. Yeah. I went so through. So ask me in six months and that answer is going to be no. Good. <laughs> Hell Yeah. I went through, like, something similar, and, like, like we've said before, I feel like we're very, we're a lot alike. Yeah. And I got to a point where I was only thinking about other people and never putting me before that. 100%, yeah. So then, like, every decision, I was like, I'm not even happy with what I'm doing right now. Like, right. why did I, why, how did I get here? Right. And it's because I was letting other people affect my decisions. Right. So, I, like, made a very, very, like, strong stance and in, like, the end of 2019 of, like, I'm not doing that shit anymore. Like, yeah. I'm on ha- I'm not okay. Yeah. So, I started picking me and making decisions for myself. And now I don't even think about other... Like, I mean, in such... Situ- like, small yeah. situations, I'm, right. like... I obviously think about my friends and stuff. But, like, for yeah. bigger things, I'm, like, if I'm happy with this decision, right. I'm doing it. Right. Which I think is, like... It's a very... It's, it's a lot of work to get to that point. Yeah. Like, I think too much about like so for example me taking a new position at work I struggled so hard because I I know drink I drank it right now (laughs) see like I struggled so hard remember when I was interviewing and I was like uh, maybe possibly about to get another job a few months ago and I was like oh my god I can't leave like I have all these events coming up like I can't do this like I was like so for context she was leave she was trying to leave a job that she was unhappy in To make herself happier in a new job, but (laughs) still thinking about everyone else at the old job that was making her unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, like, my thought process. I'm like, oh, my God, what are they going to think? But also, work, take a shot. Uh, Like, I wanted to, (laughs) I wanted to, like, also finish these projects. That's, like, a little different. But, yeah, I think for the most part, I do think, like, yeah. Yeah, we gotta stop that. Yeah. I mean, it's hard and like... It's so hard With though. our specific personalities, that's just how we function. Yeah. We just think about other people and we like to give to other people. So Ooh, that's like... Huge giver. That part of our brain is like, yeah, but what about them? Yeah. Which like, we can still be giving people. We can still be like sure. good people and kind people, but, but at they the don't same get time... But they don't get paycheck. Absolutely <laughs> not. At the same time, you have to just make decisions for you because this is your life, not their life. Yeah. And you know what? They they might not be making decisions based off of how you feel. They're making decisions for themselves. That's, yeah. That's how you have to think about it. Like, yeah. how many times do people think, I wonder what Rachel's going to think about this decision? She better be No offense, but probably not a lot, you know? <laughs> no, I know. Which is, like, a harsh reality. I'm like, damn, people really, that's what, I think that's what sent me into that mindset. Because I was like, yeah. no one fucking thinks about me when making decisions. Like, right. no one is like, I wonder how Elena's going to feel. Or if I do this, Elena's going to think this. It's like, I, they don't think that way because they've treated me X, Y, and Z. And right. I feel like shit because I've always put them first. Right. Yeah. So you just have to flip the scenario of like, flip would they around. do the same? No. Oof. Oof. That's a tough reality check. Yeah. For anybody. So in six months, you're going to say no. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Should we do one more? Should we do one more each? Yeah. Okay. Let's round it out. Rounds it out and make sure. Oh my god! Give okay, me a good wait. One. This is a really good one to end on. Okay. In a perfect world, what would your life look like? Describe your ideal day from start to finish. What a great ender! Oh my! Wait, hold on. So, like, my now or in the in future? a perfect world, what would your 
what would your life look like? So I'm, I'm going to take that as like in a perfect world, like when you think of a perfect world, okay. what is that day? Okay. So this would be probably like ballpark like three, four years from now. Yeah. I would be loving my career. Yeah. I would be, my side business would turn into a very large business. Like, it wouldn't just be a side gig anymore. It'd be, like, a second business. Yeah. A second full-time. Yeah. Um, the podcast would be bigger. Basically, all of my, like, jobs would be very successful, and I'd be, like, loving every minute of it. Mm Mm-hmm. And then I would be probably, hopefully, living with, like, a fian... Whoa, I'm not saying that. But, like, I would be living with my significant other. I'm not saying those words. And I have <laughs> TJ, a dog. if you're listening. <laughs> I have a dog <laughs> who's super-duper cute. And I travel a lot with my friends. And I don't have a panic attack when I'm hitting submit now, paying for the flight right. anymore. Right. I want to just be, like, and I just want to be happy. Yeah. Like, I just want to be happy in every aspect of my life and just be, like, because when you're little, you always think about, like, how you're going to be when, um, it's okay, when you're older. Yeah. Always. And, like, I just always, like, pictured that, like, living with my significant other, with a little doggy, and being, like, a really successful woman. Yeah. You know? And CEO. having a great circle of friends that we all take bomb ass trips on. Yeah. Like I'm not even kidding, that's a huge part of my life. I really want to like <laughs> hey, I want to at least happen. because I'm also like when we grow up, okay, we're older, but like when we get older, I want cuz you know what? You know what's super depressing? I've always thought about this. I there are some people like some adults that I know that like don't have friends. Like yeah. they they had friends and then they they got married and they moved or whatever and they started a life with this significant other and then they they just don't see their friends anymore. Like, I'm not going to be that person. Yeah. I need my friends and I want, like, at least, like, annual trips when I'm, like, in my 30s and 40s with yeah. the same group of people. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I just want to, like, travel with my friends, be living on my own, like, with a doggy and being really, like, content and, like, happy with, like, my businesses. Yeah. And just, like, f- crushing it, you know? That is a perfect world. And also, you know what? I would it's love, attainable. I would love, like, maybe getting breakfast in bed or, like, maybe, like, you know, the guy that I'm living with brings me Starbucks in the morning. Right. TJ. Um, TJ. Sends me to, like, you know, go get a massage or, like, a facial maybe every now and then. Um, TJ, if you're listening. Yeah. Buys me, you know, like, a lot of fancy shit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe not. Well, maybe not. <laughs> That's a really good question. I kind of want yeah. you to answer that one. Okay. Okay. Here she goes. Okay. In a perfect world, what does my life look like? So, I, wow, we are going to work on my personality in 2022. Did and you just not going to work? Be, I want to start with work. I started but with work too, thing. though. It's, in a perfect it's a part world, of your life. Like, I, I think I talk about work so much because I have just huge goals and I, I want to achieve a lot. Um, you're also just passionate about what you do, which very, is fine. That's a great very much quality. So. Yeah. Yeah. So in a perfect world, I would love to have my own events firm and, um, yes. <laughs> I do, I plan on, I plan on getting there and taking the steps to make that happen. So in a perfect world that has happened. Um, and then I think, it's kind of sad I haven't, like, I've thought about the rest, but I'm so focused on, like, mm-hmm. I want to be that, like, businesswoman. Like, I want my own events firm so bad. But I also want, like, a family. And I want to have my friends still around me. And I want to take those trips and travel. And I, you know what? Like, a perfect world, I have my penthouse in New York City. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm going to have it one day. <laughs> and... Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, like, keeping my circle while also, like, climbing to the top Mm -hmm. and then just, like, spoiling the shit out of my family and kids. Yeah. And just, like, coasting on that. Like, I just want to be, like, like, I've made it, we've did it, we've done it, 
here I am, like, living my life now. Yeah. Like, like continuing wanna... to still, like, do well. Oh, for but sure. But also just, like, getting the reward from all the, the hard work and the shit that, like, you especially have gone through with, like, work. Yeah. And just being like, wow, like, I went through all of that and I'm here now. That is, I want like, that, that feeling. That feeling. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That... On a yacht, like, you know, <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio to my left. Michael B. Jordan to Michael my B. right. Michael B. Jordan to my right. Zach Efron in my front. Uh, captain Lee's driving the boat. Absolutely, he is our captain. Yeah. Captain Lee, if you're listening. Hey, boat daddy. Boat daddy. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. No, that's, that's definitely what I want. And I just, I can't wait to, like, give back. Yeah. Like, that's also just super exciting to me. To, like, my love... friends and family and be yeah. like, hey, we're going on a trip. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Yeah. I really want to, like, give back to my family, too. Yeah. Because, like, while I'm not saying that, like, money is everything, but the success. Like, success is everything to me. And I will not stop till I get there. I was just going to sing a song that sounded similar, but then I forgot the words. Wait, yeah, that was a it? good try. I think I it's Zac Efron. Bet on it, bet on it, <laughs> bet, on it bet on me. I'm, I'm gonna make go- it right. That <laughs> is the way. Um, yeah, and High you're gonna do it. Two? Hey, which one's your favorite? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. That was that was this card actually. Just yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's for sure. The. It's definitely not three for me. I don't no, think. I think it's the second one. Actually. I'm gonna just say like the OG. Just I mean because, the OG like, for sure. You know what? I taped that on a VHS tape. Yes, I did. Wow. Yes, I don't I know did. who to call, but I'm gonna call somebody. I was at my friend's house and I was like, I will bring this home to my family. Yeah, I like the second one for the scenery. The scenery, yeah. A lot the of good songs course. in there, and then just like, you know. Yeah. That was that was leaving. One. Oh. Troy better stop her at the bridge. Gotta oh go my, my own way. Gotta go my own way. And if you don't belt that out, you're lying. That was my favorite song. Yeah. That was my shower song for at least an, it's every, a it's, year. It's everybody's shower song. Yeah, sure. it was. Yeah. I think it's on my shower playlist. It has to be. Um, hey, Zach. Love you. Thanks so much for listening to every episode. You're a real fan. Yeah. Um, that was such a good... I love this game. Yeah, and the thing about this is, like, I think... How many cards do you think we went through? That was through? a lot. I feel like that was, like, 20 cards. Like, we might have 25 to 30 cards, like, of cards that we actually went through, but this deck still has, oh my god, like, at least... We could do this probably 30 more times. Yeah, before for we sure. Go through like, the whole these thing. cards are... There's there's so many in here you're not going to repeat, but when you do repeat, like, it'll take you... Like, depending on how you do this, whether it's, like, you're picking up one card a day, or... You're doing kind of like this, like a, a wine night um, with your friends or roommates or whatever. Like, if you do it again in six months, I guarantee you'll have different answers. Yeah. Because... And we should definitely do like a follow-up. Or we'll just bring on other girls to like do this because I think it's like, you, I don't know. It's just, you get down to like the nitty gritty. I also think it's important with where we are in life because yeah. we're at the age where like I definitely get caught up in my of like what how like planning my life and like what I want to see happen and there's just like hi you're not in control of that and you know I think these cards really make you sit and think like even though you're not in control of it like what steps can you take to get there yeah and you could talk it out and you talk it out with people who you're comfortable with yeah I don't know I think I like I love getting vulnerable and I love I think it's having deep conversations I think it's so powerful too because like even some of the stuff that I was saying, like, I don't think about myself. Like, I... Right. Obviously, like, I had something to say about it. That's because I was asked. Right. Like, a lot of times people aren't, like, asking these kind of questions, these types of questions. Yeah. And it, I don't know, like, makes you think a little bit. And, like, in this area. And honestly, I feel better. I... No, I feel... I feel so great after doing these kind of things. Yeah. Talking about this. I think in this area, all the questions that we always get asked are, who are you? What do you do for work? Where do you work? Like these questions make you because like I felt like every single question I wanted to like relate it back to work Work, yes but this makes you think on a much deeper level and like personal level you should just have some of these questions like now 
now that we've played this, like, on dates. Like, these would be good conversation starters other than, like, what do you do for a living? What's your yeah. color? Where, where are you from? Like, where so, like, do you like, how do you measure su- success? What like, part do of the you district? Let other opinions get to you? Like, things like that are way better conversations. No, I'm so down. I love, I love deep conversations. Hell yeah. Absolutely. That was so fun. No, I really like this. Again... You guys should check out this card game. It's what called f- What Fulfills You. Yeah. Thanks, Emily, for creating this. Um, yeah, if you guys like this episode, we will definitely do this again. I think we're probably going to do it again regardless if we record it or not. Yeah. Um, but let us know what you guys thought. Um, Rachel, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks I, so much for getting the game and, like, wanting to do this. Yeah, I mean, I immediately bought this game and I was like, no, this is what we're going to talk about instead of, like, who went home on The Bachelor. Yeah. <laughs> We're over it. I'm so over it. We're over it. I absolutely love coming on your podcast. We love to have you. We really do. Thank you. Um, Thank you guys so much for listening. And yeah, let us know if you guys want us to do this again. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. And ask your friends what fulfills them, I guess. Ask them the good questions, y'all. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. Be sure to subscribe to Girl We Gotta Talk on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you get your podcasts. That way you never miss a new episode. You can also follow Girl We Gotta Talk on Instagram at Girl We Gotta Talk Podcast and on Twitter at GWGT Podcast for live tweeting and all your favorite pop culture updates. If you want to watch full episodes, check out Girl We Gotta Talk on YouTube and find all of your favorite episodes over there. If you liked today's episode, head over to Apple Podcasts, hit the five stars or leave a review and let me know what you thought. I seriously love hearing your feedback. It really means the world to me. Thank you guys again so much for listening. Talk to you guys next week. Bye.